Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest and today I wanted to give you guys an update on the Arcos Gen 8 internet tablets. If you've seen my previous reviews of the Arcos 70 and the Arcos 101 then you know I'm pretty impressed with what these tablets offer especially at their price point because they're pretty much unmatched in the marketplace right now uh, for the niche that they're filling. But what I really wanted to show you guys is how easy it is to install the Android Marketplace on both the 70 and 101 since the procedure is exactly the same. Now, Charbox has put up a video demonstrating the installation. Uh, however, that uh, APK that Charbox was using was, you know, very early on. It was the first of its kind and was slightly broken in several different ways. So I wanted to give you guys an update with one that uh, Ken Yu from XDA Developers Forum, a member there, uh, posted it's also on Arcos fans forum so you can catch it from either source but basically this is how you would uh, install the Android marketplace if you've rolled over to 2.2 uh, which this device is running by the way which I'll also get to my impressions of the Froyo update uh, for both devices but this is how you would install the Android marketplace especially if you've already installed let's say the APK that Charbox um, you know demonstrated on video again that was a helpful video from Charbox, but I think this new APK uh, is definitely a more functional one. So first and foremost, if you've already installed that other APK, you're going to have to completely reset the device. So you're going to have to go into settings and essentially go to repair and formatting and do a full reinitial, uh, reinitialization. And yes, we do want to do that. This is going to take a little time, of course, as uh, anyone who owns one of these right now knows uh, because it does do a full reinitialization. So while it's doing that, let me tell you guys what my thoughts are on the Froyo update. So far, uh, it's been pretty good. Uh, despite the complaints across the board about the CPU being clocked down to 800 megahertz from 1000 in order to, um, from Arcos's release at least, they stated in order to improve battery life, despite I haven't really had any complaints with battery life, so I was a little shocked that that was why they did it, but the battery life has improved. As far as the CPU performance being clocked down to 800, it is still on an on-demand basis from what I understand. In other words, what that means is that you know, when an application requires the 1 gigahertz performance, like let's say uh, internet browsing, then the 1 gigahertz uh, speed is there. If that's the case, then you know, not really much to worry about. Let's just say that so far I haven't been disappointed with 2.2. Flash is not working perfectly, but Arcos has said that they're going to release a certified Adobe plugin designed for and coded for the Gen 8 tablet. So I expect that to resolve the bit of uh, lag that right now I'm seeing on both the uh, 70 and 101. So really all fixable things, and it seems like Arcos is really close. Again, you can see this reinitialization is taking a long time. You can also see how easily uh, that uh, reflective screen picks up fingerprints but really I would say this entire process is about a five minute operation but we'll see from how long the uh, video actually takes thought it would be done by now but apparently not there we go okay so finally we're at the uh, setup screen for Froyo so let's go ahead and pop through that legal information, it's going to want to set the time zone, um, we can skip that, we can skip just about everything here, except for that, which needs to get on the Wi-Fi network, so let me just enter in my password. Again, the next step here is to basically just get the APK file and get that installed from either XDA Developers Forum link or an Arcos Fans Forum link since that can be found on either of those forums. And then from there, it's just a matter of rebooting the device after you've installed the software. So now that we've connected to my home router, let's get me back on screen here. Let's uh, not install anything else. Not worry about the uh, calibration of the accelerometer here because it does pretty well without it and let's go ahead and start using the device so here we are uh, stock 
and basically all we're going to do now is jump on the internet let's go ahead and type in Arcos uh, Gen 8 APK XDA and see what we get I don't know if I even typed that in properly, we'll see in a second no, I did not, but oh, it, it's right there, so not bad. I did type it incorrectly, excuse me. Correct myself. And as you can see, here we are on XDA Developers. It's loading up. And right there we've got our instructions on exactly how to install it. As you can see, uh, basically, you want to just go to this link which is where KenU has uh, uploaded what you need and then you want to install the gapps installer which if I can touch it, there we go and then go ahead and grab that starting the download so you can see the progress is right up here and it looks like we're done and let's go ahead and install that get you guys back in focus and go ahead and open that and as you can see it's going to ask us whether or not oh G sensor kicking in uh, you know give us a few options we're going to go with install only the core apps as you can see 17 files copied reboot your device so we're going to go ahead and reboot and let's power off and reboot And again, a little bit of dead air here as we get back. Uh, in those instructions, I'll let you guys know in advance, there's also some details about some further fixes with the uh, marketplace, um, basically clearing uh, the cache um, within the applications manager of the, uh, or rather settings and applications of the um, marketplace data. Those instructions are there and can use uh, instructions that I just browse to and showed you guys during this instructional video so and I'll link those uh, in the information associated with the video so you guys aren't uh, wondering exactly how to do this now as you, uh, you can see we've booted up and it's asking me to add a Google account which I'm not going to do at this time because after all this was just a walkthrough to demonstrate how easy it is to get the marketplace up there and just so you guys can see if I then go into the menu of apps you can now see the marketplace is there however in order to enable it I would have to log in which I'm not going to do now after all this was only a tutorial and we're at over eight minutes so hope you guys enjoyed the video hope this was helpful hope it uh, answered the question as far as how do you actually install uh, you know the Android marketplace on the Arcos Gen 8 tablets if you have any questions or comments please feel free to post them and of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.